I'm not gonna say fuck you, Alice, but I am gonna say screw you, Alice. I just wanna double check one thing. So to get here, we allied. So she betrayed us once. Then we got through the lock, and she betrayed us again. After got getting cured. If Alice is not a piece of shit, I don't know how else to call her. Because this is ridiculous. Well, then I stepped out of the AB room. Why? What happened to... It's not fair to betray someone who isn't voting. <laughs> you tell me. I thought... There was nothing I could think of to say. I, mean, I didn't really understand why I'd pick Betray instead. I had almost felt unconscious, like some other part of my mind was taken making a decision. decision. Perhaps I'd been possessed by some sort of evil spirit that could move my fingers to a betray button against my will. <laughs> right, well, I should go see the results. Really? We already know what they are. It's just simple math. The look in her eyes was more painful than any point she had ever taken. I turned away and almost ran toward the projector, even to get away from those eyes. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now please... Yeah. You know, I'm kinda starting to miss a bunny. That voice actress definitely had a lot of fun recording that. <laughs> yeah, bitch. You freaking bitch. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Also that Kay and Claw were talking to each other like, oh, of course we're gonna ally. That makes the most sense. Betray, 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 betray. Please check your bracelet to you see your pricks. updated you bracelet freaking points. pricks. And the worst of all, to get here, I allied twice. It's insane how I hate you people. It wasn't possible, I blinked, rubbed my eyes and looked again. No, how can Alice vote be betray? That's not possible. Alice. Just standing inside a second room to the left. From the left. The room what should have been empty. Why? My mind was still reeling. Where had she come from? I was trying to form a sentence, she began to move toward us. From around me I heard a chorus of muted gasps. It seemed we were united in our surprise and confusion. Alice drew to a stop in front of me and glanced up at the display. Thought you'd get an easy couple points, huh? Not so easy when you have to look your victim in the eye, is it? You know, I don't frequently think about violence against women, but... Yeah, I do now. I really do now. I mean, that's a hypocrite right there. Oh my god. I wanna smack her face so bad! Coward. Yeah. Yes, you are. You got some balls saying that to me after you picked Betray twice! Why are you even here? You gave me the antivirus, didn't you? Ten Miyoji told me. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, honestly. Thank you! So you know I saved you and you still... What the fucking cunt! But you should still be under the effects of the anesthetic. Yes, well, I still am. A bit. I have a throbbing headache, and I can barely stand. It's horrible. I'm more resistant to anesthetics than most people. Oh, I'm so happy you get murdered like five times. A result of my training. I have a feeling Zero Senior knew that. They gave me way more than the standard dose of that gas when they kidnapped me. In any event, a few minutes ago I woke up in the infirmary. 
Tenmyoji explained what was going on and I got here as fast as I could. Way more than a standard dose, okay, interesting, so you know the standard dose of the amount Zero uses to kidnap people, interesting. So he showed up right after we'd gone into the AB room. Yes, right in the nick of time too, about 10 seconds before the deadline as I recall. You did that just so you could betray us? Right, what, don't I get to do that? No. I mean, it turned out to be the right thing to do, didn't it? No. You two chose Betray. If I'd stayed back there, I'd have lost two points. Fuck, at the worst, you blame me, not her. But nah. You gotta throw blame at her as well. So, you're saying it was self-defense? God, I hate her so much. I think I hate her more than Dio now. Yes. You fool of shit. Self-defense, my ass. Just Betray because you wanted out. You got six BP. If I picked Ella, you would have had nine. That's what you were trying to do, right? So what if I was? Are you serious? You would have killed me. Look, I only got one BP. You were this close to murdering me. Just admit it. You were planning to kill me so you could escape. Don't be stupid. I, I knew you'd choose betray. There was... Tell the that truth. That is the truth. Why am I the only one getting the third degree here? Look at those results. God, I wanna beat her so bad. Two other people just tried to kill someone. Fear yes, Dio. if Dia had chosen ally, Phi would have killed Ten Miyoji. And if she'd chosen ally, Dia would have killed her. I don't want to be rude, but it looks like Clover and Kay tried to trick one another. Not that it seems to have worked. If either one had chosen ally, the other one would have 9 BP right now. Why are you all pieces of shit? Turn to look at the results again. Who had only been looking at my own. I realized there was only one word all across the roster. Betray. Whatever trust we'd managed to build had fallen apart. Everyone was suspicious of everyone else. Had it been the bombs? Or had it been something else? Whatever reason, if it kept up, we'd never managed to escape. We'd been trapped in a cycle of zero point rounds for the rest of our lives. Something had to be done. Closed my eyes and took a deep breath. <laughs> Alright guys, pay attention. You probably already f all figured this out, but they can't keep going like this. If we don't start being a little more trusting, we're never gonna get out of here. We need to work together. Might as well have been talking to a wall. My apologies, Sigma, but I need to think on something for a bit. I would appreciate being left alone. Okay. I'll be leaving too. Things are getting a little too intense here for my delicate constitution. Sorry. Yeah, Lucia says some dumb things sometimes, which are kind of funny. I'm like someone else. Yeah. Well, in that case. A toofy? Yeah. Sorry. Seriously, even you? I don't know what she turned and left the warehouse. You and Kay quickly followed suit. See, there's your answer. In the end, everyone's just thinking about themselves. So I would appreciate it if you could not treat me like I'm the only villain here. Come on, Clover. Let's go. Hold on! I'm coming! Are you feeling okay? I was really worried, you know? I watched him walk away, Clover practically jumping of delight to have Alice back. Before long I reached the yellow door and disappeared beyond it. Everyone's gone. You aren't going to leave too? No. Are you sure? I chose Betray. I know, but I still believe in you, Sigma. I think your hand must have just slipped or something. <sighs> I want to hate you like everyone else and be suspicious of you, but you are like a ray of sunshine in this pile of crap. Right? 
My chest hurt and when I blinked I felt something hot and wet prick the corners of my eyes. Well, and I bit my lip. Before I could think of anything to say, the metallic rumble of the doors closing echoed throughout the warehouse. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on the... Yeah, 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 yeah. As so many times as we want, huh? Yes, as long as we have the star keys. That means we can keep playing the AB game over and over, too. Um, Sigma? Could you show me your bracelet? Why? Do you remember what Zero Junior said? As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. You know, now that I think about it, how exactly do you get paired up if you can play as many games as you want? Do you have to keep going through chromatic doors as a group? Before every AB round? But you already did the puzzle, so... I'm just a little confused as to how would it work. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Let's see here. I'm a cyan pair. What about you? I'm a magenta pair. I wonder what the others are. We could be anything, I suppose. We won't know until we have a look. Hmm. Get about. 80 minutes until the next set of chromatic doors open. So, what should we do now? Everyone else has gone off on their own. Yeah, physically and emotionally. I don't like how this is going. But no matter how many times we repeat the AP game, if nobody trusts anybody else, we'll never be able to get out of here. Maybe it would help if we all had a common goal. Something to unite our hearts and minds. Yeah, but we already got something like that. I don't want to get out of here. That seems like a pretty clear goal to me, but everybody's chose betray. Including me. Well, what if we have an enemy? An enemy? Yes, a common foe. Like the person who set the bombs, for instance. So, deal then. After coming back from the lab, I told her about the bomb while she gave Alice and Quark the accelerator. <sighs> we were found dead in the crew quarters before, but because we found the bomb maker. Oh my god, that's why he killed them. Uh, yeah, that might work. If we can figure out which one was planted those bombs and everybody else would work together against them. Right. But how do we figure out who is it? Well, do you have any clues? Yeah, um, clues, huh? Oh yeah, that's right. The memory card. I pulled it out of my pocket and held it out toward her. What's this? I told you, memory card. It was under the bomb we found in the lab. I think whoever set the bomb dropped really? it. Really? Yeah. I don't know what's on it though. We couldn't find any kind of memory card reader. Oh, I guess we can't really use it then. Oh, wait a second. You know what? I think I might have seen something. In the infirmary. Yes, I remember. The infirmary. I saw it when I was searching the infirmary with Dio and Quark. There was a memory card just like that one. Um. Yes, I think we can see what's on it. The computer there should be able to read it. Luna and I exploded into the infirmary, nearly running into Alice, Clover, and Miyoji. Quark was there as well, of course, but he was just as we'd left him, asleep on the bed. What are you doing here? I opened my mouth to retort, then thought better of it. I really wanted people to start trusting each other well, real change starts at home. As quickly as I could, I explained the second bomb and the memory card. Hell, Sigma, you're a much better person than me. I would just smack her across the face immediately, like, What are you doing here? Smack! Like, shut up, bitch! 
And now we'd come and remain firm in hopes that it could discover the contents of a letter. Okay. Then stick it in already! <laughs> sure thing. That's what she said. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> right. Just as Luke had said, there was a small slot under the screen, exactly the right side to fit, size to fit the a memory card. Within moments, the screen was filled with what appeared to be random letters. What is this? Six rows, twenty-two letters each. Hmm. Well, you can see zero z. z no, wait, there was an O somewhere. Yeah, there's gotta be a pattern. I think it's one of those things where you have a... Like a, a sheet with holes in specific places, so you can actually read what's supposed to be there. It looks like the odd rows use one set of letters, and the even rows use another set. In other words, the first two rows just repeat. Yeah. Hmm, there's some kind of code or something. It doesn't look random to me. I think there might be a pattern. I just don't know what it is. Yeah. Was there anything else on there? No, it doesn't look like it. So we get us this gibberish. Hmm. Hey, Alice, you haven't said anything for a while. What, what's Does up? any of this look familiar to you, Clover? Um, what do you mean? Have you seen something like this before? Maybe during your training? Training. <sighs> this is... So you do recognize it. All right, knock it off, you two. How about you? <laughs> side and stretch her neck from side to side. I believe this is an encoded message from a terrorist organization. What? They call themselves the Myrmidons. Yeah, so Dio did drop it. Myrmidons. For some reason, I felt like I'd heard that name before. What are the Myrmidons? Put simply, they're a bunch of thugs who are trying to destroy or dismantle most of human civilization. So this thing we're looking at... You think it's theirs? Well, they have a number of different codes, but I do think this is one of them. Then the bomb? It was said by one of the Myrmidons, wasn't it? Yeah, so this basically confirms the deal is the one who said the bombs. Yes. Well, I can't say for sure, of course, but it seems likely. Hmm. Damn, I have got a ton of questions for you. Let me start with this one. What the heck does that thing say? I don't know. What? How am I supposed to decode it? I don't have the key. Without a key, it would take literally hundreds of years to decode. That, not really, but whatever. What about you, Clover? Well, if Alice doesn't know how, I sure don't. I see. Hmm. Not much we can do then. Can come back to that code stuff later. I got another question. Alice Clover, who the hell are you? Why do you know about this code? That's... You told me your job was to eliminate the enemies of the state or something like that. Just... What the hell kind of job is that? I think it's time you told us what you do. <laughs> Riveting conversation, I see. Sorry, but I can't. Because you might be one of them. You might be the person who set the bomb. That's idiotic. Of course I'm not. Really? And where's your proof? Where is your proof I am? Why would I show this and... <laughs> For all I know, you're my enemy. I can't tell you anything. I'm not your enemy. I'm your ally. I'm your friend. Just want all of us to get out of here. Just please tell us. Please. We need to find out who did this so we can all escape. We have too little information, we need your help. Fine. Don't tell us about yourself and just tell us about the Myrmidons. What else do you know about them? I'm sorry. Clara could blink, she'd leapt up and run out of the room. Hey, wait, wait, Alice! I took off after her.
How long are you going to keep following me? Until you tell me what you know. Then why don't you just ask Clover? The Clover? You already know she works with me. No, yeah. Then why don't you... I wanted to hear it from you. Why? That's a good question. Remember the crew quarters, or this garden? Get paired up for two separate rounds. Means I've spent more time with you than anybody else here. Maybe that's it? I guess I'm just curious about you. What are you talking about? She spun around to hide it, but I got a blush of red on her cheeks. Look down the path to where it ended next to the pond. Lying in the sun again. I stayed silent. Alice sat down on the bench, we gazed at the smooth surface of a pond for several long minutes before she began to speak. You don't hate me? I do. Sigma doesn't seem to. What? Why? I tried to kill you. You mean in, in the AB game? Yes. I was so scared. Who wouldn't be? Kidnapped and locked up, forced to play some sort of bizarre game. And then we found that bomb. I know I probably sounded calm, but as soon as we found that thing, all I wanted to do was run away from it as fast as I could. Things just went downhill from there. What do you mean? I remember hearing that Quark had collapsed and running to the infirmary with everyone else. <sighs> when I got there, I realized I couldn't understand what anyone was saying, and everything looked... I don't know how to describe it. It was like watching a video on Fast Forward, only it was real. Then I started to feel like... It's hard to explain. I guess you could say I didn't feel like I was myself, and it only got worse. That was probably Radical 6. Yes, I think so. I don't remember much after that. But when I woke up in the infirmary... Suddenly, all that fear was back. So I... All I could think about was getting out of this place as fast as I could. It never even crossed my mind that it could kill you. God help me, it, even if it had, I don't think I would have cared. See? I'm horrible. You hate me, don't you? Just do it! What? Do what? Kill me! Get it over with! What the hell, Alice? I'm not going to kill you. I don't hate you. You're lying! He's not, I am. I could have killed you. I would have killed you. Come on, come down. No one's killing anyone. A single tear rolled down Alice's cheek. Then another and another living shining lines across her face. When I reached out, I saw her tense just slightly. Slowly I burst my thumb across her cheek and off, taking her tears with it. Why are you doing this? You know, you kind of remind me of my father. And that's who you are after, right? The people who killed your dad? Yes. Do they have anything to do with the Myrmidons? Will you promise not to tell Clover that I cried? <laughs> Come on. You keep your mouth shut. I'll tell you what you want to know. Okay, Clover, she cried. <laughs> Well, where are you? I got something to tell you! About myself. And about the Mirrodons. Deal? Sure. My lips are sealed. They're not- Really? Not crying. I don't remember any crying. Good. Alright then. Alice took a deep breath and began. <sighs> I already heard it all before. That's the problem here. Oh, she's gonna explain herself, not to the Marmidons and stuff. My father is Egyptian, Egyptian, but my mother is French. I met while well, my mother was in Egypt on vacation and married shortly thereafter. When I was free, we all moved to the US. My father was a scientist and his field was cloning. He was recruited by an American lab, which was why we moved. Both of my parents had used English around me from the time I was born, so I didn't have any problems adapting to life in the United States. By my ninth birthday, we had been there for six years. That was when it happened. In the middle of the day, my mother showed up at school. Her eyes were red and puffy, 
but she didn't say anything to me on the drive home. When we arrived, there were several policemen there to meet us. My father had always been a very punctual man, and when dinner time came and went with no sign of him, even I began to realize something terrible had happened. It wasn't until several years later that I finally learned the truth. My father's lab had been attacked by terrorists and he had been kidnapped. For the rest of my childhood, my mother raised me by herself. I didn't realize it then, but it must have been incredibly difficult for her, as a single mother alone in a country where any relatives were a transatlantic flight away. She did her best not to let me see it, but every so often, when she thought she was alone, the mask would fall away, and in every line of her face I could see exhaustion and loneliness. As much as I missed my father, it was those moments that made me wish more than anything that he'd, been, he'd never been taken. Fortunately, I was an excellent student and did especially well in math. I earned a full ride scholarship straight out of high school and spent the next several years studying. After graduation, I took a job with the Department of Defense, hoping that they might have resources to help me look for my father. I was immediately assigned to the Special Office of Internal Security. My purpose is to investigate and sometimes deal with terrorist organizations and other serious threats to the state. I can tell my mother wasn't happy about my decision, but she chose to remain silent about it. Eventually I learned that the terrorist organization that had taken my father was none other than the Myrmidons, although at the time that name didn't mean anything to me. I was suspected of human cloning. Specifically it was thought that they had been, used cloning, had been using cloning te techniques to copy their most useful members and expand their ranks. The Myrmidons apparently believed that they could use cloning to create a new race of humans. Now at last I knew the reason for my father's abduction. The commander of the Myrmidons is a man named Left. We know his name and his gender, but not his appearance or his age. The Myrmidons are closely associated with a cult known as Free the Soul. They believe that the Free the Soul provides their funding. But trying to pin any kind of misdeeds on their cult's leader, a man named Brother, is like trying to nail Jello to the wall. Brother is supposed to be a fairly advanced in years, and rumors say he's so old he can't even get out of his bed. Unfortunately, his mind seems to be as sharp as ever. At that point, I hit a wall. I knew the Myrmidons had been behind my father's kidnapping, but that was all I could learn about them. Then one day, I got a tip that some of them were hiding in a building in the Nevada desert. I headed out immediately. On the way there, my car had some engine trouble and stalled out. I was trying to decide what to do when an SUV appeared out of nowhere. I'll give you one guess who was behind the steering wheel. Clover. That was the first time I've met. There were four other people in the car with her, and when I asked them about what they were doing, I got what was just about the last answer I'd expected. They told me they'd been locked up inside of a very building I'd been on my way to investigate, and what they were currently in pursuit of the people who had kidnapped them in the first place. My priorities shifted very quickly. After a short discussion, I convinced them to allow me to come alone. My hope was to find the people they were chasing, who I was certain were Myrmidons. In the end, however, we were unable to track them down. In fact, I still don't know where they might have gone. Eventually, I took Clover and her companions to S. OIS headquarters. We decided what involving pol the police would only complicate things. After some questioning, I was, it was determined that the people who had in instigated this particular event were not connected to the Myrmidons. We did, however, discover what the mysterious disappearance and subsequent reappearance of several children nine years prior was connected to Free the Soul. There was also a sixth person in the SUV, although they weren't riding in it, per se. A middle-aged man, who I'll just call H for now, had been bound and placed in a trunk. According to the other four, he had been, ha had been behind the disappearance of a children nine years earlier. I also learned that his pharmaceutical company, a major player on the world stage, was effectively controlled by Free the Soul. More specifically, I suppose, H was a member of Free the Soul, and very committed to their cause. So why had he kidnapped all those children? Apparently it had been part of an experiment designed to test the ability of a certain people to access what's called morphogenetic field. I don't imagine you've ever heard of it before, so I'll try to give you a quick rundown. 
Simply put, these people can access a sort of field that allows their consciousness to resonate with consciousness of certain other people. To be honest, it might be simpler to just call it telepathy. The SOIS had heard of this particular ability before and had actually used it in a number of investigations, so I wasn't surprised to learn of its existence. I was shocked, however, to learn that these experiments had been carried out by a member of Free the Soul. If that was the case, then Bravo must have known about it. The thought of him discovering a way to control and harness that power was terrifying. It wasn't too long after the incident in Nevada would another tip about Myrmidons crossed my deck. Stamond claimed that the Myrmidons intended to, to launch a large-scale biological terrorist attack. My bosses decided that we needed more agents to deal with a threat of that magnitude, and Clover was recruited. Because she'd been a test subject in H's experiment, we knew she had the ability to access the morphogenetic field and we wanted to put that ability to use. After several months of training, she was sent on her first mission. She would be tasked with the infiltration and investigation of Myrmidon cloning lab. I was assigned to be her commanding officer. I hoped that our investigation might also give me a lead on my father's whereabouts. At last I had a chance to find out what had happened to him. I wouldn't let that chance pass me by. Perhaps that was when I... what kept me from noticing the truth. The whole operation was a trap. Lab was fake and Chloe was captured almost immediately. I got there as fast as I could, but when I arrived the building was only an empty shell. All the conspirators who had pretended to be researchers and the like had already fled. I searched frantically for Clover until at last in the basement room I found her. She hadn't been tied to a chair, but on the floor next to her was another body. It was my father. He looked as if he'd been just dumped there. When I got to, his, to him, his body was already cold. He was covered in dark, ugly bruises. It wasn't until later that I learned he had died from ruptured organs and internal bleeding. They had beaten him, they had beaten him to death. As soon as Clover had been captured, Mormidon in a mask had come to visit her. He'd said that unless she wanted to end up like my father, she would leave them alone and tell her masters it was SOIS to do likewise. In retrospect, they must have known who I was and who my father was. That was why they'd kill him. Perhaps they thought they were sending a message to me. Or that once he was gone, I'd lose my reasons for chasing them. They were very, very wrong. I took Clover with me and left. I tried to console myself with the fact that I had at least been able to save her. Sometime later I received a call from the coroner. He told me there was something I needed to see. There in the morgue was my father, cold and pale on a steel table. I could barely stand to look at him, but the coroner insisted. On his arm were two rows of numbers, comprised of eights and nines. It took me a moment to recognize my father's handwriting. He had carved them into his own skin. On his chest was another message, but they were letters this time, not numbers. Not many, just enough to make a short sentence. I love you, Alice. I broke down crying right there in the morgue. They were the first tears I'd shed since the operation had started, and there was no stopping them. There would be no forgiveness. Not for monsters who'd put my father through this. They had destroyed my family. I would make them pay even if I had to die to do it. At night I made a promise to myself. I would avenge my father. It didn't take long to figure out what the numbers he'd written were latitude and longitude. We pointed to a chemical factory that had been disguised as an abandoned building. Further investigation revealed what it was the mother's mother load we'd been looking for. The headquarters of the Myrmidons. I think my father must have known how things would turn out. Knowing he was going to die, he'd written the direction to our enemy's fortress on his own body. He'd sacrificed too much for me to waste this opportunity with recklessness. This time, our operation would succeed. This time, I wouldn't let my excitement put Clover or any of my other agents, agents in danger. So we took our time, we gathered information, we did our research and we planned. Finally, they were ready. December 25th, 2028 was going to be the day we finally set foot inside Marmadon's stronghold. But then, on the 22nd, only three days before our operation was scheduled to begin, 
A man in a gas mask appeared. So you inhaled that gas passed out and woke up here in the AB room. Yes. Well, there it is. Everything that's happened with the Myrmidons and me. I left a few of the details out, of course, but you get the idea. Yeah, thanks. She gave me a sad sort of smile and stood up. We should go back. Not yet. So I explained a lot, but there's still one big question. Which is? Who here is a Mormidon? One of us planted the bombs. Based off the code we found, it's pretty clear what the person is a Mormidon, right? Yes. And I agree what we need to figure out who they are. What do you propose we do? Well, that's what I wanted to ask you about. Do you have any clues? clues? Hmm. Well, if I could decrypt that code, it might tell us something, but... How can we do that? I told you. We need a key. Without that, it's pointless. Mm, what's a key? A key is a key. It allows you to sort of unlock a code. The Myrmidons usually use this huge string of numbers as a key. Wait, a long string of numbers? Could it be... I have a key. Ah, uh, I see. What the hell? I was almost as surprised as she was. Numbers had just kind of appeared in my mind, and I was saying them before I knew what I was doing. Alice looked at me incredulously, and I stared back. Where did... Wait, can you say that again? Uh, it's, uh... Look, I'm not gonna say the whole thing, it's not too long. That's 198,449,351 to the third power. What? That number you just told me. Prime factor decomposition on that number gets you 198,449,351 to the third power. Uh, sure. <laughs> I'm talking about reducing the, an integer to a series of prime numbers, but you multiply together to get it, right? Like if you have 30, then you'd get 2 by 3 by 5, right? Exactly. You probably learned that in junior high, right? So you're saying that that is a prime, and if you multiply it by itself three times, you'd get that. Yes. <laughs> Don't... Seriously, are you saying all the... Are you supposed to be talking using those gigantic freaking numbers? <laughs> Don't tell me you just did it all in your head. I did do all of that in my head. Simple mental arithmetic. No, what? No way. It's impossible. I told you. I'm better at math than most people. <laughs> That's not better at math. Look at you. You just recited a huge string of numbers. That seems pretty astounding too. Where did you find that number anyway? I... I didn't know what to say. What did I tell her? That just came to me. Can't tell me, huh? Fine. I'm pretty sure that's the key to the code, though. I know the Myrmidons use prime factors for their keys. And there aren't a lot of 25-digit numbers that turn out to be the third power of a prime number. I think there's a very good chance that number you memorized was specifically created by someone. <laughs> Uh-huh. Could you explain that with small words? Well, look at the prime factors of your number. 198,449,351 to the third power. I think that's our hint for cracking the code. That doesn't explain anything! You still don't get it? Try to remember the code we saw in the infirmary. What did it say on the monitor? Uh, I think the first row was... <laughs> Are you kidding me? And the second it's too long, I'm not, I'm not reading that. Uh, yeah, that... I think. And they just repeat. Wow, you've got a pretty impressive memory. We could really use someone like you back at the... Um... Well, get going. How do we go that? You use 198,449,351 to point you to the right letters. How do we do that? Well, the first number is 1, so take the first letter. The next number is 9, so go 9 letters over from the first one. Then 8 from that one. That's... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Uh... 8. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come. It's gonna take forever. Just keep going until you get something. Makes sense? Yeah, I thought it was gonna be something like that. I don't know what she said in my head. But the number Alice had given me was that. So what do they get if we picked our letters like she'd explained? This letter would be C from the top left. Then you'd move 9 to the right, which would give you O. Then 8 more to the right. Eventually we'd get a word. That word was... Fail and the game is over! <laughs> Come on! Code sheet won't be displayed when you input your answer, so it would be wise to solve it now. Okay... Fine, might as well do this. letters again. No, we'll... Ah, <laughs> jeez. Come on! God, that's a horrible freaking design. Yes, give me the freaking letters and cover them with a window. Thank you. That was really get them helpful. Uh, seriously, I need the freaking letters. I can't do this. I'm gonna wait for a laptop to run. It's not this, is it? Yes. Oh, now you show it! <laughs> Completed, that's it. That's the answer. Completed? Are you sure? Yeah. I did exactly what they told me to do, and the word was what I got. It was completed. No, actually, it's completed, completed, completed. Code and the letters repeat every two lines. It's just hmm. repeats. Well, I can't remember the code like you can, but if you're certain, I believe you. I'm definitely certain. All right then. The, what do we do with it now? I wonder what completed is supposed to mean now. What? Aside from obvious, you mean? I'm guessing here it means mission complete. So that's what the transmitter was for? Huh? What are you talking about? What transmitter? I barely even heard her. Suddenly my mind was full of memories with a hand hadn't been there a moment before. It was like a wave had washed away the sand, revealing a bag of precious gems underneath. it before. Could remember a series of numbers, but not this? Plus, I remembered it now. Dio was a member of the Marmadons. Not just any member, he was their leader. That meant he had been the one who planted the bombs. Hey, are you listening to me? <laughs> yeah. Then answer my question. What the hell was that? What's this about a transmitter? I didn't trust myself to try and explain it to her. More than likely she'd think I was insane. Even I could barely make sense of a sudden influx of new information. Wait. Don't tell me you're one of the Myrmidons. If I was, if really think I'd reveal myself like this. Point. <laughs> Out of nowhere, Clover appeared. What's up? Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. What do you need? We're all down in the Floor B warehouse. 
Well, all of us but Luna and Clark. Why? I'm still got 45 minutes until the white door is open. I know that! Oh, okay. Hey. Wait a minute. I thought you, Kay, and Quark didn't know about the white doors. Tamioji told us about them. He said he'd show us where they were, so we all followed him down to the Floor B warehouse. I'm assuming you left Quark with Luna? Yeah. Anyway, when we showed up, Phi and Kay were already there. So? Well, all of a sudden, Phi, Tenmyoji, and Dio all started yelling at each other. What? Why? Did something happen? According to Clover, the last AB game had been cause of their fight. Even though Tenmyoji only had one BP, Fi had chosen Betray. They started to fire, and since Dio had pressed Betray on behalf of his team, eventually he got dragged in it too. That seems odd. Phi only had one BP too. Her choice seems like a perfectly valid defensive move. Ugh. Just come with me! Kay's trying to calm them down, but there's only one of him! <laughs> yeah, I'm going the reasonable one. Okay, okay. Come on, Alice, let's Coming. go. I gotta say, I kinda understand her more now, and I don't ha hate her as much as I did, but... I'm still salty, you know? I can stop being salty. Because seriously, the last... I allied with her before and she betrayed me twice. It's... Okay, fine. All four of them were still there when they arrived. We seemed to have calmed down a bit, but the tension in the air was almost visible. I felt like I'd stepped into a room full of flammable gas. Even a small spark could turn the whole place into a raging inferno. Even Kay, usually so calm and collected, was standing ram ramrod straight with his hands balled into, f balled into a fist at his side. Even fists? Plural? I, I looked at Alice, pressed my lips, and then headed toward over to the angry knot of people occupying most of the room. I don't know, it's a gigantic warehouse, I don't think we can occupy most of the room. Clover told me what's going on. This whole thing is stupid, you need to knock it off. Stupid? What about this is stupid? We're talking about my life, you self-righteous dick! <laughs> no. <laughs> but the only show isn't going to solve your problem. Best thing for us to do now is to trust the show and get through this. When do you agree? Hmm. Hard to trust someone who tried to kill me. Same to you. I told you letting Dio vote was a stupid idea. What did you think he was gonna do? You might as well have pressed the button yourself. I couldn't just leave Quark alone. That's no excuse. And where do you get off telling me I shouldn't have picked Betray? Did you even think that through? What, I was supposed to pick Ally? If I'd done that, I'd be dead right now. I could say the same thing to you! Look, you, why are you shouting at the shower? Shout to Dio, he's to blame. Damn good thing Dio didn't choose Ally. Please, that's enough from both of you. Sigma's right. This isn't the time to be bickering with each other. Oh, you don't get to talk. You tried to betray Clover and escape on your own. This piece of shit is picking more fights. Perhaps. But I think that's better than merely killing someone. Well, well, I only did it so that she wouldn't kill Tenmyoji. Ah, God damn it. Now I've already... I heard the fury and my voice echoed and rebounded off the walls of a warehouse. Everyone fell silent. I didn't know how long that silence was last. So I decided to put it all on the table. There was only one way I was going to put it, be able to take control of the situation. You guys listen to me. I really don't have time for this shit. I was met with a number of glares, but I sold it on. See, the thing is, I figured out who planted the bombs. What? Is this what you were talking about earlier? Damn, I say see the thing is, as well. See, the thing is, I do it a lot. <laughs> sort of, yeah. I know which one of you it is. Well, spit it out then! Please, explain what's going on here. I don't think I need to. We're going to admit we're guilt in just a few minutes. What? You're all going to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Or I guess I should say Dio's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on? You think I set those bombs? 
Yes, I do. Hey, if you're gonna accuse me, you better have some pretty damn good evidence, pal. <laughs> I'm not accusing you. I'm just stating the fact. Oh yeah? Where the hell'd you get that fact? Fun as it was, I knew Dunton alone wouldn't be enough to make Dio confess. He just played dumb. He was good at it. <laughs> oh, nice. And I'd get nothing. That means I was going to have to trick him. Oh, well, you see, I'm actually from Free the Soul. Free the Soul? What's that? Some kind of hippie shoe company? <laughs> Don't play dumb, do you? Should I call you left? Probably ordered me to come here. To keep an eye on you. <laughs> it was quick, but for just a moment I saw his eyes twitch. I looked on that moment of weakness like a hungry dog on a steak. Fine. <laughs> Skepticism is understandable. Admirable even. But perhaps this will convince you. Pressed forward, pulling out every fact I could remember. Told you about Brower's background, and how his younger brother left had been murdered. I mentioned casually what Myrmidons were all clones of a single person. So? Still not convinced? How about this? Uh, <laughs> I'm not reading this whole thing. Do a little prime factor decomposition on that, and you'll get that into the third power. I'm not who I say I am. How on earth could I possibly know that? What? No, that's not possible. Finally. So let's start over, shall we? I was sent here to watch you every move. It seems our wise and noble brother doesn't trust you. He suspects betrayal. No! You're lying! I assure you, I'm not. But if you don't believe me, why don't you go outside and call him yourself with your transmitter? <sighs> no! No! You have to be lying! Brother trusts me! That's why he chose me for this mission! Why would he make me the leader of the Myrmidons if he... Huh? Sorry, what was that? I said, why would he have made me the leader of the Myrmidons if... <laughs> I grinned. Wait! What the hell? Are you fucking kidding me? Sorry, dear. I've never even seen Brummer. What the hell was all that? How did you know all those things? Dunno. Maybe I was divinely inspired. Well, give me that shit! Uh, what's going on? What are these Myrmidons? Dio and I stared at one another while Clover and Tamiyoji quickly exp explained to Fiend K about the memory card and the number two bomb and about a code that found that was a terror from a terrorist organization called the Myrmidons. So you mean to say someone from the Myrmidons planted the bombs? And Dio pretty much just admitted to doing it? Yeah. Bastards. I'll never forgive you. I heard a low, furious muttering behind me. I turned to see Alice, her lips pulled back into a snarl. I... am going. TO KILL YOU! Her voice rose to a scream as she charged to Dio. He ducked out of the way smoothly and pulled something from his pocket. Whoa there. I like my women a little feisty. But you're taking it a little too far, sweetheart. Tone it down. What?! You see this? You know what it is, don't you? Oh my god. Is that... Is that the detonator? Exactly. I assume you know what happens if I press this button? Yes. I think I do. I'm guessing it'll set off both of the bombs. Mm, well, I wouldn't say both. Because there's four. You mean there's still a number one bomb we haven't found? Correct. And there's one more, too. No. There are four bombs? Exactly. I planted four bombs. They're the ones numbered one, two, and three, but there's also one more. Bomb number zero. Add all that up and you're looking at about four tons of explosive power. Those go off and it's all over. That's enough oomph to turn this whole place into a smoking crater. Aren't you forgetting something? That'd kill you too. So, I'm ready for that. I've got spares. Spares? Is that what Sigma was talking about? Yeah. I heard Alice whisper something to Clover. Let's go, Clover. Sure, all that training wasn't for nothing. Huh? Oh, yeah. Right. If 
thought I had a chance to ask her what was going on. We've moved. Giant bastard! Yeah! She roared and leapt toward Dio. Clover falling just behind. As for a bunch of Dio's faces, he dodged Clover, spun out from behind her. Dio grunted a turn to focus on Alice, but Clover darted in and snatched the detonator from his hand. Clover, get him! Right! Sigma, catch! Huh? Before I could respond, Clover had thrown the detonator at me. Oh no, don't do this! You remember how I almost dropped the bottle, come on! <laughs> I'm too clumsy for this. I scrambled to grab it out of air and held it to my chest. Damn it! Stop! Let me go! Still let go of me, you asshole! Yellen didn't do him any good, and Dio found himself subdued by the skillful teamwork of Alice and Clover. Strangely though, once we had a hold of him, he stopped struggling. I was reminded of a gazelle with its neck in the mouth of of a lion. And he surrendered? Or did he have some trick up his sleeve? Didn't feel right. I didn't have to wait long for my misgivings to prove true. A detonator in my head suddenly began to flash. <laughs> what? Ha! Serves you right! <laughs> You! Her! All of you! God, you're stupid! What? Why? See that detonator you threw to Sigma? You activated it. If it gets more than a meter away from me, it sets itself off. We figured someone might try to take it away, so we put in a little safeguard. Since you two were kind enough to take it away from me, the bombs have gone from remote control to countdown timer. Go ahead and destroy the detonator if you want. Won't make any difference now. The bombs are gonna go off no matter what. How long do we have? <laughs> About 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Oh no. My condolences. Well, what can we do to stop them? I told you that already. First we need the device that allows us to input information. Then we plug it into each bomb and enter the codes. Hey, Alice. Who the hell are you? How do you know all this? None of your damn business. Just tell me where the input device is. <laughs> well, that's none of your damn business. <laughs> Fuck! Stop! You're gonna break it! Of course. That's the plan. <laughs> Please, stop! Just tell me what I want to know. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. It's in my coat, in the right hand pocket. Clover, check it out. Would be funny if he left some trick in there. Right. She had nodded and started digging through his pockets. Honestly, I don't know why you didn't stop that. After a few minutes? It's no use. There's nothing here. Did you lie to me? No, I, I swear. Keep looking. Oh, wait. There is something in here. Clover pulled her hand from his pocket and held it out. Is that a pill? Like for medicine? Hey, what is this? Huh? I can't see it. Bring it over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Clover frowned and moved closer to Dio, holding the pill out toward him. Suddenly he moved his hand, his right hand shaken out to grab a pill from Clover's hand. Before anyone could react, he shoved it in his mouth. Heard a tiny crack as he bit down on it. Almost immediately he grimaced in pain. Shit! What? What was that? Clover, you're a dumbass. Poison, I guess. What? Damn! How could I be so stupid? Yeah, that was pretty obvious, Alice. <laughs> His eyes rolled up into his head, and flecks of spittle began to trickle out from the corners of his mouth. I grabbed him by the hair and shook. The hell are you doing? Where's the input device? <laughs> Lost it. In my couch. Back home. Don't screw with me. 
Fine. Don't tell us. How about you give us the deactivation codes instead? Deactivation? <laughs> you guys are persistent. Fine. Not gonna do you much good anyway. Oh, what's mighty kind of you to just give us? I'll tell you. Just like you gave me some clues before. But you only get one. This is the deactivation code for bomb three. Ready? L X Q L H C N M R. What about the lava free? That was lava free. You didn't even seem to hear me. My body will be a part of the foundation of a bright future. His voice was weak and more foam was dribbling out of his mouth. Such a beautiful world. May brother live in everlasting glory. As of the last words Dio spoke, he died with a strange happy smile. He only gave us the password for one of the bombs. This is bad. What are we gonna do? Die? I don't know. How much time have we got? 25 minutes. Are you sure? Yes. When you told us the time, I checked my bracelet. It said exactly 30 minutes. You mean the bombs are gonna go off the same time the next set of doors opens? Yes. The time on your bracelet is the time we have left. Oof. So 25 minutes. This isn't good. I was hoping that we might be able to escape through the white doors, but... It takes five minutes for the primary door to open and close. So... Yes, I know. There's no way we can get through them before the explosion happens. Well, there's no point just standing around. We should start looking. We need three things. The password input device. And the remaining two bombs, right? Right. We also need passwords for all the bombs other than number three. Exactly. Maybe Dio hasn't noticed something. Hold on, let me check. She knelt down and quickly checked his pockets and sleeves, and sat back on her knees, heels frustrated. Damn, he's clean. Mm, don't agree with that. She looked pale. Then we'll just have to hope we find it somewhere. Tenmyoji, can you go tell Luna what's happened? Right. I'm on it. Good. The rest of you, let's move out. We can do this. Let's go. They all took off at a run, heading to different parts of, of the building. But none of our searching turned up nothing. As we searched, the clock kept ticking. And at last, chromatic doors opened. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. That time had run out. Watch the wide doors open. Go away doors to heaven? Or to hell? The thought barely had the time to flutter through my mind before everything went white. We didn't even have time to say goodbye. A thousand emotions flooded my brain in those last moments. Why? How? How had they ended up this way? And a blistering wave of heat, like a surface of the sun itself, wiped out any lingering thoughts. My consciousness slipped away into a bottomless pool of darkness. Neither heaven nor hell, only the void.